hello and welcome in this video we are going to customize the dashboard of our page so this is going to be the dashboard I did a little bit of customization I removed some of the extra code and this is how it looks so if I check out the code here what I did was I just create a partial file called navbar.blade.php and I put the navbar here all it is going to do is just linking the dashboard product customer to its own pages so I'll talk about more of the codes I have written as a PHP here uh, later in this video but for now if you check out I have also renamed the welcome page to dashboard.blade.php because currently we are in the dashboard page the product page customer page and settings we haven't created that we will do in the in this video so now if I come to product page it is going to show me a 404 page because we do not have those pages if I come here to the blade file I will just save this one and I will call it customer or you can put it as a customers you can name it anything you want I will just save it and the other one is going to be the products so it should be products.blade.php and the last one is going to be settings.blade.php so now we have the file all we have to do is we have to create a route for them to uh, send us to this file or just ping to this file so it is sitting I'm going to just write a little heading here like sitting just to show you that this is the sitting page and this is going to be customers it may not display properly for now but this is how you can see that we are in the right page so this is going to be products page now I will save it for now you might wonder where is our navbar here we have included so I put the navbar in the default master layout here so if I check out the layout default blade here you can check the this include partial navbar is here it is above the content so now I will come to my code here and it's still they are not here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the web.blade.php and I will create the routes for my pages also here so you can use the route view which is a new route and I, do, I don't know which version of Laravel comes with the route view but it is new so it says if someone visit this URL you can display a view here because we are using view here like view router so what is the name of our view it was product.blade.php you don't have to specify the blade one just say product so it is going to show the products here it is fine for this one and also if you check out the directory of this one it is directly inside the views so I don't have to specify the folder name and for the other one which is the customers it should show the customers and I will duplicate the last one and this is going to be for settings I will save it for now let's check out if it is working or not now I will refresh my whole page here yes it is working fine if I come to the product page as you can see it shows product customer sitting and everything is working just fine you see that bling here because it is an iframe inside our app so that's why it is blinking like going to another page so you can fix that issue and it is easy there is a um, JavaScript package called TurboLink if you have heard of this one so TurboLink is a very nice tool for navigating between links it is not completely refreshing the page it just grab the content and display it on the page so you might have used this or you might know this one if you don't know you can check out the documentation but they do not have a CDN so the way I use it I just copy the name here and I will use the unpack so if you don't know about this one you can learn in this video so if I open my default master here you always add it in the head and above everything so I am going to link it so it is an script and we are going to use src it should go to https dot com slash the package name so this unpackage is a website if you have any like npm package and you write unpack like dot com and slash the package name it is going to give you the exact link of that one I'm showing sure I'm going to show you like if you please 
command or control and click on this link it should show me the terrible link js here as you can see so that is how you can grab the file if you save it for now here now i will come to my app here i will refresh everything again to see how it is functioning now it should not you should not see the blink now if you click on the product as you can see it will smoothly load the page without that blink so it looks fine now now we can access any page we want and it is working just fine the final thing i'm going to do in this video is updating the welcome here it also always shows welcome so there is something called app bridge which i will talk in the next video but for now if i open any of these uh, templates settings you have a title bar option title you can write it down here if i write this one as a sitting it should change the title bar as sitting and the same way for customers you can update this one this one is products and also the dashboard i forgot to change it from welcome to dashboard so it should be dashboard if i save it for now refresh the page check it out now it is dashboard if you go to product it is the product page customer and sitting it is that much easy to change and customize it now how about the active url here and this is the last thing i am going to show you so if i open the navbar.blit.php this is how you can detect the active one so you can say if request path is equal to let's say the slash then it is going to be that page you can say the bg gray or background gray is going to be displayed so this is the background gray for the active one and it is going to apply for other pages too if the the path or request path is going to be the product it means i am in the product page so it is checking the route so if the route is product make this one as active or just make it as a background gray and this is how you can detect the active link here everything is working fine now this should be an starter template for your uh, next uh, shopify app so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching in the next video we will explore more about what is app bridge and how you can use it in shopify app